that has come to our ears, O oh God. Our fathers have given us the story of the works which you did in their days, in the old times. By brooding the nations with your hand and planting our fathers in their place, cutting down their nations, but increasing the growth of your people. For they did not make the land there by the sword, it was not their arms which kept them safe, but your right hand in your arm and the light of your face, because you had pleasure in them. You are my King and my God, order me salvation for Jacob. Through you will we overcome our haters. By your name will they be crushed under our feet who are violent against us. I will not put faith in my bow. My sword will not be my salvation. But it is you who have been our Savior from those who were against us, and have put to shame those who had hate for us. Our pride is in God at all times, to His name we give praise forever. But now you have sent us away from you and put us to shame. You do not go out with our armies. Because of this we are turned back by the attacker. Those who have hate for us take our goods for themselves. You have made us like sheep which are taken for meat. We are put to fly among the nations. You let your people go for nothing. Your wealth is not increased by their prize. You have made us to be looked down on by our neighbors. We are allotted and shamed by those who are around about us. Our name is a word of shame among the nations, a sign for the shaking of head among the peoples. My downfall is ever before me, and I am covered with the shame of my face, because of the voice of him who says sharp and bitter words, because of the hater and him who is the instrument of punishment. All of this has come on us, but still we have kept you in our memory and we have not been false to your word. Our hearts have not gone back, and our steps have not been turned down your way. Though you have let us be crushed in the place of jackals, though we are covered with darkest shade, if the name of our God has gone out of our minds, or if our hands have been stretched out to a strange God, we are not going to make search for it. For he sees the secret of the heart. Truly, because of you, we are put to death every day. We are numbered like sheep for destruction. Why are you sleeping, O Lord? Awake and come to our help. Do not give us up forever. Why is your face covered? And why do you give no thought to our trouble and our cruel fate? For our souls are crushed down to the dust. Our bodies are stretched out on the earth up and come to our help and give us salvation because of your mercy.